If I need, say, some tremolo for, to play in a piece, or some arpeggio, or a picado, or a sapua, and then I practice the technique with the piece, that's how people, you know how they do. They, for instance, need to play a certain passage that has a scale there, and then they keep repeating that the scale over and over and over and over, and then they think, now I'm getting better at picado. <laughs> this is not happening. Why? Because this technique has to be learned apart. For example, if I need to play... Suppose I need to play rasgueo, this rasgueo in a piece. I cannot practice it with the piece, I need to go right? I need to practice first the technique and then apply it to the piece not that I play the, the piece and then I am getting better at <laughs> that's not the way to do it and that you would waste so much time by repeating over and over a scale you are not getting better picado playing you get better picado playing by doing the exercises of picado technique which Paco did and Paco recommended. This is what you, you, you can do. And then you can apply for any piece. Then you are free, then really you know it. It's a tool. But if you keep just repeating the things with the pieces, this is a problem. That is one of the, because this series is about the learning process. And, and here one point is that you need to, to put apart practice, playing, technique, rhythm and repertory. And then eventually your training, analysis, harmony, some theory and improvisation. And you need to put apart these things, one thing on its place with the proper supervision and do it. And understand, to have the proper knowledge to get interested into these topics. And to become efficient in that and to enjoy being out of the zone of comfort for a while practicing. And then upgrade your playing like anything. This is the result. So, it will, of course, it makes sense because it will, it will have an effect on you if you do that. So then, therefore, if technique, you need to do technique, not pieces. But people, what they want is to play pieces. And then this, this, is, this is not upgrading your playing. Right? Then they think, well, I maybe learn another piece. And that's how I was. <laughs> that's also not happening. You know, when I was in Canada, maybe 10 years ago or something, and then I, I told Paco that I want to create this method like this. Well, he said, yeah, do this, do that, do that, like this. So one of the things, which, of course, he was out of the reality, because one day I said, what do you advise me for the, for, for the teaching thing? He said, don't put any pieces, just, just technique and rhythm for 10 years. <laughs> so that was, I said, Paco. I cannot do this if I do that. People will, will freak out. They, they want to play something. Also, right? So then, then, then he said, well, yeah, then, then give some pieces, but then, that are actually only technique. So that, so that's like, like sugar coating the, the, the medicine right, for the children to take. Okay, this is one thing. But that you can do until a certain extent only. And it has many limitations. That thing. That's not the... the if you want to get an outstanding result as a amateur playing or anything, that's why we're a hobby. I also play for a hobby. So if you want to, that's why you do a hobby because you love it. You want to do it right. So if you want to 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 excel playing great and enjoy what you play as a hobby, then you need to 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 also put the the, the effort which is necessary there. And this is a lot of fun actually if you do properly. This is why this series, if you watch all the videos before, you will see that this misconception about uh, getting free from doubts and how it will happen to process this external information so that your own internal information comes out and all this in the process of communication with the teacher and the supervision and what is the difference between practice and playing, etc. If you see that very clearly and, and, and you are free from doubt, in no time you improve and you don't waste time. Right. This is this is all why we said get supervision to, to not waste time. This is reason. So therefore, this is ap uh, applicable to everyone because we. I am also a student. I don't say I'm the teacher. The teacher is Paco de Lucia. I'm just a messenger here. 
So he said to me, this is black, and I said, this is black. This event, therefore, this has a power. It has power. People come to study. Why? Because, because I'm not changing the philosophy of the thing and what is the goal of, of all this stuff. It's, of course, not to repeat pieces. To learn a piece is valueless, actually. It has no value. It's like if I want to, suppose I want to learn Mandarin Chinese. And I go there and learn one poetry, one poem recited in Chinese. And I go and, and just, maybe I, I, I pronounce it perfectly. And I learn that poem. But that, I am not knowing Mandarin, actually. I don't know the language, the cases, the grammatical sentences. I don't know one thing. I'm just repeating like a parrot one thing. This is what people do with guitar most of the time. Learning pieces means that. Now, there's another way to learn pieces, which is to learn and then understand it by analysis, etc. This is what is the value of the thing. So actually, I'm not against playing music, but I understood immediately what Paco meant there. That they, because what he, what he means is this, if you play falsettas and you don't know what is this, what is the falsetta and how it was made and all that, so you can make one eventually, then it has no value. You are just a parrot here. This is not classical music, like we are reading the score that I'm repeating over and over. That's what people do. Most of the people, what they do, repeat like parrot the thing. This is not the Pagodius' style. Certainly, and, and, and going beyond falsetta playing, this is the Paco's contribution. What is Paco's contribution? It's going beyond falsetta playing. Precisely, right? So to do that, what we need to do? We need to understand it. So therefore, those who are smarter, I have many guys, four, four or five now, new, came and said, I want to do technique and rhythm and become strong in this. I don't care about playing pieces. Well, because they are intelligent, they, they understood, maybe some of them, of course, at least two of them, waste a lot of time the other way and went nowhere and then after that they, they, they got fed up with them and said you know what let's do what, we, what this guy is saying at least try it you try if you practice technique if you practice technique and become, become efficient technically you can play anything you want this is my proposal and the other is play one piece kind of okay and and then try to play another, and then try to play another, and don't, don't understand anything of it, but just keep repeating like parrot. Maybe one become one day a uh, first class parrot and impress people who don't know about musical guitar. But you cannot impress yourself first of all. <laughs> so then, therefore, you compete with you and play better every day by following this process. And up to the point that, that you come to know that stepping out of the zone of comfort is the only way to be comfortable, actually. So the result will be that you will be comfortable. And it's so much fun. So try it. Un amigo que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien. Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco Originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando 